Hi guys, good morning. It is, what day is it today? Thursday. <laughs> what time is it? I just woke up like three minutes ago. So it's nine o'clock. And last night my brother came over to put up the shelves that I was talking to you guys about for a while now. So one whole like panel of shelves went up like smoothly, one, two, three. The other one was being an ass. Um, but I love it. It did come out nice like the end result came out beautiful and I'm so excited to organize it with you guys and put stuff on top and Make it look hot. You know what I'm saying? So here's how the shelf looks I really really like it And then I didn't make my bed or anything uh, There's the other one. I'm gonna clean up vacuum wash sweep all that jazz and we're gonna start organizing my makeup Yay! All right, so I opened up my lip drawer and I have this organizer here. This is a nine um, slot organizer and I'm going to be putting my, um, what am I gonna put? My ColourPop Ultra Satin uh, Liquid Lipsticks. Let's see here. Here's the satin. Satin. I have so many, I believe I'm telling you. Uh, I'm gonna try to put the ones that are not limited edition packaging so it doesn't look off, you know, I like when it looks super neat. This is actually Hello Kitty, so goodbye! Okay, so we have satin here. Satin. Ambition, satin. What was I thinking when I bought this color? What was I thinking? And I am gonna situate these guys straight up so they are not tilting over, but I think it looks cute. Like up, you know what I'm saying? So then I have this lip organizer. There are 24 different slots and what I think I'm gonna put in here are my MAC lipsticks because that's the only brand I think that I have, you know, over 24 lipsticks of. So let's go find my MAC lipsticks. Okay, so here's my other bin of lip products and my MAC lipsticks are situated right over here. So let me get the organizer. Here is where I have my limited edition ones and here's where I have my regular ones. I used to be addicted so that's why I have a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna put my limited edition ones in the front so that everyone can see how pretty they are. And then the regular black tubed lipsticks I will put in the back, so. So I moved over to my nightstand area. Um, the few things that I put on top over here are products that I do want to go ahead and put on the shelf. So they're chilling right there for now. You can see my little MAC lipstick holder thingy. I have this cup right over here, this adorable little man that my sister purchased for me from Disney World. Yeah, Disney World, not land. And literally when she got it for me, I dropped it accidentally and it chipped. So I'm like, perfect. It's like chip and then chip, you know, because his name is Chip. He has a baby chip here, but this is like a good one because it's like smooth. Here's like rough asses anyways so this cup is adorable i wanted it for the longest time ever and she found it she picked it up for me and so what i think i'm gonna go ahead and put in here since it is a cup and i could use it i'm going to put my um perfume samples that i get from sephora you know those like little samples so it is in my um nightstand it's in there this is like my junk ass drawer you know what i'm saying so <laughs> let's go in you know how you have like that one drawer in my case it's like seven of them but <laughs> Or you pull like crap just because you don't know how to organize it or you just don't know what to do with it But you don't want to throw it out So I have my caps in here, which I need to put a hook up to hang them up because I don't want to just stuff them in here I want to wear them too um, So I have a few caps here What else? Woo! A dollar! I have a dollar! So this is how it looks on the inside I have some back to Mac products here Some stuff, my old camera that I have to give to my mother But mainly what's in this drawer or what was mainly in this drawer are these um, deluxe size perfume and cologne samples that I get from Sephora when I place an order with them. So I don't like to throw these out because a lot of times I purchase perfumes based on these little guys um, and I love them. When I have too, too much, I usually give them to like friends and family, but I think I have a decent amount. So let's go ahead and fill up my chip cup. Oh, 
Um, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, great. That was literally perfect. Okay, awesome. I'm so excited. Okay, so moving on to this section, which looks extremely claustrophobic. That's why I'm so, so happy that I have the shelves. Like, this is driving me nuts. I am going to go ahead and fill up these little guys with makeup brushes that I don't tend to use a lot. And then, um, what is it called? Displayed on the shelves over there. Okay, so here's the brushes that I situated in these um, shell organizers. I realized the brushes that I don't use, I just typically give away, like right away. If I don't like it, I just give it away. So these are the brushes that I like, but I'm not dying over, you know? So I found these two organizers. Um, in here, it's acrylic. It's so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and put, I don't know, maybe like eyeliners. I was thinking mascaras, but I feel like it's so small and the mascaras are generally pretty bulky, so like three of them are gonna fit in here, but we'll see, we'll go there in a second. And then I have this like envelope organizer that I think I'm gonna go ahead and put my ColourPop um, palettes in, like, you know, the 12 pan palette, so let's do this. So I'm gonna organize this little thing first. Um, my ColourPop palettes are in this drawer that I know for sure, um, and they're pretty much over here. So first one I'm gonna put there is this one. This is a palette that I made on my own. Last year, I would say around this time, and there are four different eyeshadows in here. So I'm gonna put that in here first. And what I like about these, like uh, this, like sloth organizer, I think that you can actually put two in one little slot. Yeah. So like it saves so much space. So then moving on to the next palette, I'm gonna put the cute AF palette in here as well. This is how it looks. I feel like I need to give these palettes more love. I haven't used them in ages. And then the next palette I have here is the I Think I Love You palette, which looks just like this. So pretty. This is one of my favorite shades. Yum. Then I have the Element of Surprise ColourPop palette as well. This is so pretty. Look at this color. Unreal. I have to use that. I have to. I also have this palette, which is the You Had Me at Hello palette. And this is how this one looks. It has a mirror. Um, this is one of my favorite shades. It's such a pretty, like, burgundy, purpley color. So that's going to go in here as well. I feel like I had more ColourPop palettes. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe in here. Um, no, that's so weird. Oh, no, I have my Kathleen Lights one. One second. You see, I knew I had more. One second. Let me find that one. Okay, so I knew I had more. I didn't unpack my um, makeup that I took with me to LA, and these two little guys were in there, and I'm like, what? It just didn't make any sense. You know, I knew I had more. So I have the Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights. I love this. I think this is one of my favorites from ColourPop. Yum. And then this is also one of my favorites as well. It's the Femme Rose She palette. So beautiful. And then I also realized that I have the My Little Pony palette as well. I never ended up reviewing this. So it was just sitting in my drawer, but this is actually brand new. I'm going to use it though. That's how this little section organizer looks. I love it. So let's recap. Uh, we have those shelves right over there, which are still empty. I still didn't put anything on them. And then we have these shelves, which I organized with you guys. And I love, 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 love how it came out. So I will do a full in-depth makeup collection video. So I'm not going to go through every single product. So stay tuned for that. Overall, I think it's beautiful. I don't want to stuff it too, too much. Um... But I love it. I love it. I also have these adorable glass containers. They're so cool. Like they lift up and you can put stuff in each and every single one. It says pretty little things. I got this from Marshalls, I think two years back. Then I have this um, acrylic organizer as well, which I think I got from Target like two years ago. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to put in them, but maybe like lip products. Yeah. Oh my God. I think it would look great. Okay. So back to this side of the town. I told you guys I'm going to organize it with you. I can't, I can't anymore. Um, I'm going to organize some lip products in this Target, um, acrylic, just a little organizer. I really, really love this. So what I think I'm going to put in here are my ColourPop lippy sticks because I do know I have a nice amount of that and then some glosses and stuff. So let's go ahead and do this. I also do want to go ahead and declutter a bunch of lip products. So that should be on the agenda sometime soon as well. Ooh, I think I'm also going to put these Revlon um, Kiss Plumping Lip Cremes in here as well. I have a nice amount of those. I have a whole collection and a swatch video too. They're really nice. I feel like these used to be so popular and no one speaks about them anymore. I don't know. OK, 
Okay. Yes, I think that's pretty much it in regards to that. I know I have more of these. I just don't know where they are. Uh-huh. Okay, fine. I'm going to go ahead and put these in there also. I only have five of these. This was the Lorac and Beauty and the Beast collection um, glosses. They're super pretty, actually. Like, I should have displayed them somewhere else. But let's put them in here for now. So, yeah, only five of those. I think we are done in this section. Um, and then I'll put my Ofra liquid lipsticks in here because I have a nice amount of those as well. God, this feels oily what is up okay i need to wipe these down <laughs> i need to wipe them down <laughs> take shirt and wipes <laughs> i'm not getting like a um, bounty now or something i actually don't even have bounty i'm like i ran out of them this is it for now if i find more i'll definitely put it in there but i love it like it's not too too stuffed except for maybe this a little bit but you know there's some space to breathe in these little sections so i love it i love it it looks so good I'm actually thinking I might have another one of this. One second, let me go ahead and check my like storage, storage, beyond and storage closet. <laughs> one second. So for some reason, I can't find the other one that I have of this. Did I give it away? I don't even remember where it is. I have to find it. But if I don't, I'm probably gonna go ahead and purchase one or two more of these because it's clean, neat. It fits a nice amount, it's not cluttered. I have to find it though. I don't know where it is. But what I did find is this. So <laughs> very, very exciting. Let's move on to my... I think what I'm going to put in here is like maybe some nice bronzers. I think I have a nice amount of bronzers. Yeah, yeah, bronzers, let's go. I'm so happy that I found this because I have some really cute packaged bronzers and I want to display them because they're so pretty. So the first one that I'm going to put in there is this. Yum, this is so pretty. Like you would think that you can't use this as a bronzer because of this, but swirl together, it's stunning. Here, let me show you. Look, it's like an iridescent type of bronzer. Super beautiful. So... That is going up front and center. Next one I want to put in here is probably this one. I mean, it's more sleek than cute, but this is the Givenchy one. That's how it looks on the inside. Really nice as well. I, I love wearing this in the summertime, so we'll put that over there for now. If I find anything cuter, I'll just, you know, swap that out. But what else do I have in here that's pretty? Here, this is cute as well. This I purchased like two years back. It's the Urban Decay Beached, Beached Bronzer. I think that they re-released this, so that's how it looks. I think it's adorable. Ooh, some MAC packaged products. So I don't know if this is cute actually. No, it's not. This is adorable. This is cute. Um, okay, fine. So we have these two. This is the MAC Brook Candy Bronzer in the shade Golden. I'm not going to lie. This has hard pan like hell. And that's what annoys me so much about MAC packaged products, like their bronzers and stuff. Like it has major hard pan and I scraped the shit out of this. So it's kind of pigmented, but like my ass style. You know what I'm saying? And it's such a waste of money because it's like ass. Um, and then I have this one, which was part of the wash and dry collection. I don't know, but it's in the shade refined, refined golden. It has like these little droplets on it. So cute. And then that's how this one looks. I think this is, this, oh yeah, this doesn't have hard pen. Let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I want everything to be rounded because, I don't know, this is like round and it's a square. I feel like I'm just weird like that. Like I need it to be even, you know? Um, what else? Let's see, let's go, on. let's move on to, to blushes. I'll put the Givenchy one back. Let's see if I have any cutesy blushes. To store in here. Next drawer. That's round. I need round. Yeah, okay, got it. got it. Okay, so what I'm gonna put in here um, is this one. This is one of the Simpsons MAC blushes. You guys know I love Simpsons, so that's how that looks. I have this one as well, which is a different shade, but um, I'll just put one just for the looks of it. Um, I'm also gonna put this. This is adorable. This is the Sweet Peach Bronzer by Too Faced. That's how it looks. Oh, baby. I love that it's so rounded. This is like so thin compared to everything else, but it's okay for now. Um, let's put this one as well. This is a little pretty. 
I feel like this thing is turning into a Too Faced slash MAC little thing. But this is the bronzer in Oh My Passion. Not really a bronzer, but more of like this kind of product. So I'm gonna put that back here. Let's see if I can find one more stunning piece. Um, I'm gonna put this one. I think this is so cute. Um, this came out I think like two years back. Quality is not the best, but it's Minnie Mouse. And who doesn't love Minnie Mouse? So I'm gonna put Max up there. Uh, Too Faced here. Urban and Minnie. It's cute. It's so cute. I love it. Um, you guys, I found more organizers. I'm so happy about this. Um, and some cups as well. And this tumbler. Um, the organizers, I usually buy periodically throughout time. Like if I'm randomly at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, if I find something cute, I buy it and then they add up. But I've had these things for like two, three, four years. I just never like use them to the most part because I had no space or room. So I was just looking in my closet and I'm like, yes, jackpot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill up another one of these. I really like filling these up. It's so much fun. I'm going to put my ColourPop glosses in one. Um, and then my remaining satin and matte a liquid lipstick from ColourPop, I'll put in the other. So let's see. Glosses. And then limited edition will just go with everything else. I don't know. I want to display them, but I still have to figure out how. So let's just do it like this for now. Here. Satin, matte. Gloss. Does anyone speak about their glosses anymore? I don't know. I feel like nobody does. Satin. And I have like a few metallics as well, so I'll put that by the close one. Okay, we're done here. Satin. Satin. Getting a bit tight. Okay, we are good to go. I think well, we're good. We're good. Oh, nice. I did not expect that to fit. Okay, fine. Um, the next thing, yeah, we're good. Awesome. The next thing I want to put in here is in my drawer down there, which looks like, you know, oh my goodness, like overflowing with stuff, but you guys want to see it. I know you do, so let's go. Okay, so pulling this down, I want to go ahead and put these Maybelline liquid lipsticks in this section. I don't think it's going to fit in one, so we'll put it in two. Let's see. So, oh, here we have another gloss. Shit. Oh, okay. It fits. We are good. We are done in here. This is how it's gonna look. I'll put this here for your five and five. And I like it that it's a little bit empty -ish, so. Next little organizer is done. So the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and fill up is this. Um, I'm probably gonna put a bunch of different brands like lipsticks because I don't have like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. I don't have 36 different lipsticks from the same brand from the same line. So. Let's organize it. All right, so here's where we're at. Um, I'm gonna organize these guys. So these bobbin lipsticks are really cool because they come with 12 in the collection, and four from each family. So four blues, four blacks, and four greens, if I remember correctly. Maybe not, maybe yeah, I don't even remember. Let's see. Or maybe two blacks, yeah, maybe two blacks, I think. Ah, uniformed. I love it. Okay. I'm gonna put... Oh, yeah. No, it's not my bad. I know, I know. I remember, I remember. I had four, four, and four. So I am missing one black one. I don't know where that is. I need to find it. But there's that for now. I have the Pixie Liquid Lipsticks, which I adore. Um, with most of these products, by the way, I've done lip swatches on these, lip swatches on these. So hopefully I'll have them linked down below, but they are on my channel. This we have six, which could be a pickle because there's four going across. I would need eight. Okay, let's see. If anything, I'll just switch it off. 
Pixie. There's that. I have a selection of these as well, so let me get these. These are my favorite. Okay, so I found four more of these L'Oreal Riche uh, lipsticks. Um, I know I have one or two more. So when I find them, I will put them in here. So I'll probably leave the slots empty because I know that I have more. Here, let's put them like this. Okay. All right. And then here... Let's see what I could put. So I have these MAC lipsticks, but I really like the packaging of these two-faced ones. But I have three pieces. Do I? Or I have more? I think I have three. But I'm going to put them here anyway because they're so pretty. Where is the other one? Oh, no. I found four of these uh, Lorac and uh, Beauty and the Beast collection lipsticks, which is awesome because it's perfect. I think I had another one, but I decluttered it. Really cute packaging. So I think I want to leave it like this for now. I am going to be putting my lip liners in this cup. I think it's going to be perfect because it's a pretty wide cup and I have a nice amount but not enough to fill this whole thing. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, we are done with the lip liners. This is the end result. Really, really cute. And then the next organizer I have is this. I think I'm gonna put bronzers in the middle, my bigger rounder bronzers, and I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna put on these, like on this side, these sides. Um, but I'm gonna think about it while I'm putting my bronzers in. But I have a nice amount of these large round bronzers, so I feel like it would be great for here because, <clears throat> um, you know, it's taking a lot of space up in here, and then I can actually see like what I have. Okay. I don't even think I use this and I purchased it like <laughs> seven months ago. Okay, fine. These are trilling here. What can I put on the sides? I got it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors here. I just tried it and it fits perfectly. Perfectly, I think another Becca bra. No, honestly, I think another one wouldn't even fit. So nice. I want to see if the Mac highlighters fit. Mm, shit, it would be so nice if they do, cause I I don't mind putting my um, Wet and Wild Mega Glow highlighters there. Will it even fit? I'm saying like I don't mind as if it fits. Shit, it does not even fit either. Oh, I think it would look so pretty. Ofra, no. Um. Fine, don't fit, okay? Um, <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Let's see in here. Let's see if these fit. Let's see. No, they fit awkwardly. I don't like it like that. <sighs> Let's see what else can I put. No. All right, well... Nothing wants to fit over here. Let's um, put this on the side for now and let's think. And let's do something else in the meantime. Okay, so I just went through all the drawers and honestly nothing wants to fit in here. I'm surprised that these actually fit beautifully. So I'm just gonna set them aside now on my uh, counter and if throughout the day I find anything, then I'll put it in there. But if you have any ideas of what I can put in here that would look cute and not like shoved, you know, uh, then let me know. 
Okay, so this is how the second shelving is coming along. I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep everything this way, but it's cute. It looks pretty good. And this is how this thing looks. Very nice. I'm like the most obsessed with this though. I don't know why I'm feeling this to no end. So pretty, especially these squeezy like butts. Okay, so I also found this adorable piece that I purchased from TJ Maxx. I think it was like $10. I used to put a bunch of my deluxe size lip products in here. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, and my deluxe size lip products are pretty much chilling back there. But like, for example, I'll put this. I have a bunch of these little guys from the Besame and what is this? Snow White collection. It's perfect for this, I'm telling you. go ahead and fill up these guys that I showed you before the little tower right here pretty heavy hope it's not gonna break my shelves Pretty little things. Pretty. So this is how the second set of shelves turned out. I'm not done, but I'm still kind of thinking what I could put up there. I don't have any more organizers, so I probably have to buy one or two more things, but I really like how this came out. I feel like this one is a bit more functional, mainly because it's products that I'm probably gonna reach for often. And then the other one, which I have there, are more like you know pretty packaged products and then a few products that i'm probably going to pull um to use from time to time let me just show you guys a teensy bit of a close-up and i really really like this little section here too this is part of the holiday collection. I think it's so freaking cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I do have a nice amount of work to still do, but I am very, very happy with how everything looks so far. Um, if I'm gonna twerk things up or change anything up, you guys will definitely know. I'm just hoping and praying that these shelves won't fall because some of the products are so heavy. Definitely let me know your um, little tips and tricks on organizing if you have any. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.